What is good? Yo, it is a nasty, cold, rainy day out here in downtown Atlanta. And if you watch a lot of these YouTube videos, y'all know these are some of my favorite conditions to make photos in. So that is exactly what we are gonna do. But it feels like it's been a hot minute since I made a vlog on this YouTube channel. So I gotta catch y'all up with uh, what's going on in my life. So y'all remember one of the first vlogs of this year, vlog 36, I said this right here. One of my biggest goals this year was to do a half marathon and there happened to be one on February 11th, decided to push myself to try to get there. Had a few obstacles come up, get in the way of that. I wasn't able to run the actual race, but because your boy made it public on this channel that I was going to run that half marathon, I still had to do it because I want to show y'all that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. Up until that point, I don't think I had ever run over 10 miles in a single run, but Sure enough, on Sunday, February 11th, I ran 13.1 miles, got it done. I still got to sign up and do a real race because until I do that, the goal is not 100% complete. But I'm telling y'all, if you set your mind to something, you can do it. I made the half marathon goal happen. It wasn't as fast as I was hoping for. I was hoping to get under nine minutes per mile. So I still got something to work towards when I actually do the race. You know what was kind of interesting to me about finishing 13 miles? It was this goal that I built up in my head and then when I finished, I was like, that almost seemed a little excessive. What's the point of running for two hours? So I don't know if I'm gonna do that long of a distance again. It might be something I dabble in, but I kind of prefer like the 5K, 10K range. It's more fun for me to sprint than just run for two hours. I don't know. Would y'all check that out? Managed to parallel park the FJ, I'm getting better. Yo, the original plan was to come out and try to get a four photo set, a rainy day in Atlanta, but like, look at that. How crazy is that lightning? That's not necessarily good. So I'm trying to improvise here. I kind of want to walk down the street to Boulevard Tunnel without getting hit by lightning. That's not safe. <laughs> I don't know if we should, I really don't know if we should be shooting in this weather right now. Yikes. Yeah, that uh, that doesn't look good. So y'all remember a few weeks ago, I talked about how Dax got really sick because he took this heartworm medicine that didn't react well with him. It kept me up all night. Well, because of that, his surgery that he had planned for two days later had to get pushed up to get his cojones removed. And then last week, our whole schedule was messed up because of some work stuff I had to do. But the fact that he was wearing a cone, he couldn't go in his crate. It was just a whole thing. Last week was very, very stressful. And I'm super glad that uh, that is over with and I can kind of get back to a normal life schedule right now. How are we looking out here? Uh, still not good. Damn, dude. So it is now the next day, but we're gonna pretend like it's still yesterday, so I'm gonna wear the exact same outfit. Yesterday did not go according to plan. It was supposed to rain just a little bit. It rained a lot. It never stopped raining. I had like two hours to get out to shoot, and then I had to do something in the afternoon. Sat in the car for about 30 minutes. I couldn't even get out of the car to get my coffee, to get my banana nut muffin, and to get my photos. Pretty disappointed about that. So we're gonna try again today. How does that phrase go? It's like, get knocked down once, get back up, I, I don't know. That is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get out to shoot, try again. Last week I went out and made some photos. I didn't make a vlog around it and I kind of regret it because the photos came out fire. I made a four photo set. 
So the goal today is to essentially do the exact same thing, create a four photo set around the afternoons. Before we get going though, I gotta edit some photos right here. These are actually from 2014, but yesterday's vibe reminded me of these shots and I wanna re-edit one of them. So finished up editing and I had a phone call. It took me a little bit longer to edit that photo than I expected. Not sure what photos will be on my Instagram first, the one I just got done making or the ones I make today. Just make sure you head over to Evan Ramp on Instagram. Check out everything I post. Make sure you like those photos. But right now we are in the same place we were yesterday. We're giving this another go. We're about to head to Boulevard Tunnel. I've never made a photo here before. It's kind of like a played out location. Basically a few years ago they painted this tunnel in this crazy rainbow color but now it is covered in graffiti and uh, it looks a lot cooler in my opinion. So here's how I'm gonna construct this photo set. I'm gonna start by just shooting for like 30, 45 minutes and then I'll kind of establish a base. I'll at least get one photo that I know, okay, this is what we're gonna formulate the whole set around. I'll show you the complete set once it's all done. Coming in hot with that voiceover, y'all know how it goes. So I'm headed to this boulevard tunnel. Now, like I said, this photo's been made so many times in Atlanta, but I haven't seen one recently now that it's covered in graffiti, and I actually think it looks a lot more cool. And because it's raining, because we have this diffused light, the colors are popping. That's all I can say. Look at this. Fujifilm going crazy on the colors that right there like we're good so that's the starting point for everything we're going to shoot today if we're making a set of four photos that's definitely going to be the first one it kind of establishes all right this is where we're at this is what we're doing today another photo i'm making right here is of just the crazy colors we got going on the blues the reds popping my goal is just to document everything i see everything i find interesting right now moving through the tunnel trying this one right here the this didn't look as good i had a car moving through the frame kind of abandoned the idea after a few test photos uh, wasn't my favorite and now I noticed it's a rare moment where there's no cars So I figure hey, I might as well run out in the street and uh, try to get you know That center of the road shot from the actual road as opposed to the bridge like everyone else does But honestly after looking at the photo I think this shot from the top looks much better than this. This is a cool angle It's a cool one to have because like I said not a lot of people do it But I think it looked better from the top so right here photographing all these crazy colors once again getting a few different angles still testing out that Fuji wide angle and I gotta say this thing is absolutely insane these photos that I got with it are impressive to say the least you can see them right here that eight millimeter is so wide the lines are straight the colors and the contrast are popping I've also heard people tell me in the comments that their Fuji film files when they edit them they don't get the same like feel as me don't exactly know what that means but I guess let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about editing Fuji film files don't know how I do that, but uh, it might help somebody. I don't know. Just let me know if it's something you're interested in. Anyways, I noticed this puddle right here. Try to take advantage of it. Kind of a cool little something, something different. Not exactly my favorite. I wish more of the paintings were actually reflected. And then as I'm leaving the tunnel, I noticed this sort of mundane city scene right here with all these different lines. I, I don't know. I just, it felt appealing to me. So I made this photo and I, I like it. So I feel like I've done everything I can do inside the tunnel itself. And now that I have painting on my mind, I decided to walk down the street and photograph some pieces that I know exist that I've never made photos of before. I don't know what it is. I'm kind of not weird about it, but I've just never really liked photographing other people's artwork and displaying it publicly because I feel like it's their art. I'm just making a photo of it. But with the way Atlanta is changing so much, I think it's good to start documenting these things at least a little bit because who knows how long they could still be here. So over there on the left is a Dax piece that is crazy. Uh, one of my favorites. And then there's a Frico tag over there on that orange you'll see it in a second so right here make a wide angle shot of this corner where both walls are painted and the center is painted this thing is crazy once again a shot with that fuji 8 to 16 and i can't i don't know what to say it's awesome and then i get one photo from across the street to kind of show the entire building as a whole this building's for sale so like i said who knows how long until it's completely gone and all this is lost forever so it's good to have a photo this, I'm messing around with this orange like wall thing over here. I just love how the orange is popping. Make this photo with the train tracks up top, this orange thing, and then the light pole with the 
street sign. I don't know. This composition, it just worked so perfectly. And anytime I'm on this side of town, it's like characterized by the train going over the street. Made this right here. Absolutely love that. It just has some feeling to me. I don't know if everyone else would understand it, which I don't really care about. It, to me, that one just feels like this area and I really like it. So move out in the middle of the street. Once again, a rare time. The street is completely empty. I love these sort of ghost town feeling images. This shot's cool. Nothing special to me. There just needs to be more going on. So I tried the same thing, but from a puddle angle. And once again, there just needs to be more going on. And I make one last photo of the side of this building. Cause like I said, the goal is just to document everything I saw over here. And now I got a hard choice to make. I got to pick from all these photos to figure out which four work well together and make a real photo set that I like. Muffin check. Coffee is check. Yo, I feel like I'm getting sick, which this is not good. My throat starting to hurt. Yo, I love just getting out without necessarily having an idea, just one location in mind and letting the idea formulate around that. Today's photo set ended up turning into one that I'm going to title probably something like Before They Become Condos. You see, Atlanta is just turning into a city filled with condos. It's been happening for the last few years and there's all these buildings like a lot of the ones we photographed today covered in paintings and art and cool stuff that are going to get demolished. It's already started happening. Yo, check this out right here. This used to to be one of my favorite murals in the city by Dos Alas. Now, condo. Over here. This used to be nothing. We actually have a video a super long time ago where we come down here to shoot condos. This right over here, that used to be this awesome Greg Mike mural. Now, condos. So that right there is a few very quick examples of things that once were that have now been torn down and replaced. That's all in like a one block radius. So that's why I figured it'd be good today to document some things that I think are cool that most likely will not be there in the future. So I have gotten progressively more and more sick as the day has gone on. I feel pretty bad right now. So we're gonna try to fight it off with some vitamin C. I really doubt this is actually going to do anything for me. But we'll see. Yo, I'm having a tough time picking my top four photos from today, the ones I want to post to social media. I think the first one is going to be the Boulevard Tunnel with a little bit of that bridge in there. Love that teal popping. It looks crazy. I think the next one will be that street corner where we have the two walls and then the center with that like decaying awning. Love that one. Next one will be one of the stair shots leading down into the tunnel, either the one from more of an angle. I think that's one I like more or the one that's straight on and the last one being that street corner uh you know the one with the orange the power line and then the train obviously in the top love that composition i think those are my top four it's subject to change be on the lookout for those on my social media also like i mentioned in today's video i edited a few other photos which ended up on my twitter and my instagram so make sure you go check those out at evan Ramp. yo do me a solid if you enjoy these photo vlogs share them with anyone who you think would also find them interesting these videos are extremely difficult to make because i'm trying to make a cool cinematic interesting vlog as well as good photos that I have to edit. I have to cut down the GoPro footage, do a voiceover. There's just a lot of steps involved and I want to make sure they're inspiring as many people as possible. I, I want these videos to be something that you can watch that make you feel creative, make you want to go out and make photos, give you new ideas. These are real photography videos. So if you enjoy them, pass them along. I would really appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button for more photography videos if this is your first one. And like I said, be on the lookout on my social media for the uh, final product, whatever I decide to post, wherever it may be, Twitter or Instagram. Y'all are the truth. Really appreciate y'all watching today. Hopefully this magic juice actually does something and I don't end up sick. Thank y'all. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.